The human brain is one of the smartest on the planet. But there are some things we can't wrap our minds around. One of those is the paradox. We've evolved to think of reality in a specific way, but some paradoxes suggest fact doesn't work the way we think it does. And now some physicists think they have solved a 50-year-old paradox, but have they? And what are the other strangest paradoxes? Get ready to find out. Fermi Paradox A lot of you are familiar with the Fermi Paradox. Named after Italian physicist Enrico Fermi. Famous for creating the first nuclear reactor. This paradox seeks to answer the question. Where are the aliens? Given that our star and Earth are part of a relatively young planetary system compared to the rest of the universe and that civilization can achieve interstellar travel during this time. We should have been visited by some form of extraterrestrial intelligence by now. It's not a fundamental paradox because we can only guess that intelligent life exists. But the Drake equation is used in this so-called paradox to estimate the number of possible civilizations in our galaxy. The Drake equation uses seven variables to count the number of detectable civilizations in the Milky Way. This gave us the idea that millions of Earth-like worlds could exist with civilizations. But this was back in 1961, and no one knew of any worlds orbiting stars other than ours. It was only recently that we got a good idea. In 2020, Astronomers using data from the Kepler Space Telescope found more than 300 million worlds with similar conditions to Earth scattered throughout the Milky Way. The analysis concluded that roughly half of the galaxy's sun-like stars host rocky planets in habitable zones where liquid water could be on the surface. Planets are extremely common and outnumber all the stars in our galaxy. And very soon, the James Webb Space Telescope will be headed into space to look for new potentially habitable worlds. We'll have a new video on that soon. So make sure to stay tuned here. Now that we know how many worlds there are and how many possibilities could be advanced civilizations. Why is the universe silent? We may be about to discover soon as technology advances or some faraway civilization has already visited us and doesn't know it yet. There have been many unexplained UFO sightings recently. Some believe extraterrestrials are already here. Solid proof of that would put an end to this paradox. The Bootstrap Paradox The Bootstrap Paradox is a paradox of time travel that questions how something taken from the future and placed in the past could ever exist in the first place. It's a familiar theme writers use to inspire plot lines in many science fiction films, such as the Bill and Ted movies, Terminator, and Doctor Who. So let's look at one of the examples of this paradox. Imagine that you are a time traveler, but before you go on an excellent adventure, you go into a bookstore and buy a copy of Hamlet, written by Shakespeare. You then travel back to London during the Elizabethan era and give the book to Shakespeare. William S. then copies the book and claims it as his work. Centuries go by, and during this time, Hamlet is printed and reproduced countless times until a copy ends up in the same bookstore you bought it from. The question then becomes, who wrote Hamlet? The Grandfather Paradox This is another famous paradox involving you going back in time to take out your grandfather. By that, we mean erasing his existence. Everyone here loves their grandparents, but this is only an example. Once again, you are a time traveler, and you pop back in time to do the deed and erase your grandfather's existence. You then return to the present time, but the thing is, with your grandfather gone, your father wasn't born and you now realize you never even existed. Everything about you has now been erased, including all your family, friends, possessions, and history. So you wouldn't have been born in the first place, so it would be impossible to do this. Some scientists believe that if this were to happen, you would have created an alternate timeline or even entered a parallel universe. Taking out Hitler Paradox Another exciting variant of the grandfather paradox is going back in time to eliminate Hitler to stop World War II. This would have some interesting consequences. Let's say you have a shiny time machine and plan to go back before things get out of control during the war and put things right. The problem now is that the action removes any reason to travel back in time, along with any knowledge that the reason to time travel back ever existed. 
Acting as a time-traveling executioner creates a paradox, and along with the many worlds idea, traveling back in time might create a new timeline without Der Fuhrer, but the old timeline would still exist. You might even make a new timeline that is even worse. But what would happen if you sent something back through a wormhole? Polchinski's Paradox The late great Joseph Polchinski is the famous theoretical physicist who wrote the book on string theory. But Polchinski also came up with a potentially paradoxical situation involving a billiard ball sent through a wormhole that travels back in time. In this scenario, the billiard ball is fired into a wormhole at such an angle that if it continues along the path, it will exit the wormhole in the past at the right angle to collide with its earlier self, thereby knocking it off course and preventing it from entering the wormhole in the first place. However, some physics students came up with solutions that avoid any inconsistencies by having the ball emerge from the future at a different angle. Then the one used to generate the paradox and deliver its younger self a glancing blow instead of knocking it entirely away from the wormhole. A crash that changes its trajectory in the right way, so that it will travel back in time with the angle required to deliver its younger self this glancing blow. Now here is something that will make you think about reality differently. Observer's Paradox The observer's paradox is bizarre indeed. Of all the odd facts of quantum theory, there are fewer strangers than Schrodinger's famous fable about a cat that is neither alive nor deceased. For the record, this is a thought experiment only, and no animals have ever been harmed. The paradox describes a cat locked inside a windowless box with radioactive material, a Geiger counter, a hammer, and a container of deadly poison. The radioactive material has a 50% chance to decay. If the Geiger counter records an emitted radioactive particle, it triggers a hammer that smashes. A vial of poison that will be fatal to the cat. However, you would not know if the cat was alive or deceased until you open the box. And so until the box was opened, the cat would be alive and dead simultaneously. How is this possible you ask? This is because simply looking at matter changes what happens to it. You can't know something is there unless you see it. Now you're probably saying this whole thing is extraordinary. But consider another observer's paradox called the double slit experiment. It is the most famous physics experiment of all time. Imagine a wall with two slits and then throwing tennis balls at the border. Some of them will bounce off the wall, but some of them will travel through the slits. If a wall is behind the first one with slits, some tennis balls that made it through will hit it. Now if you mark where the tennis balls hit the second wall, you should expect to see two strips of marks roughly the same size as the slits. Sounds pretty straightforward. But in the double slit experiment, something strange happens when you shine a light through the slits. Light isn't just a wave, it's also a particle called a photon. Shooting a single photon at the double slits forms an interference pattern on the back wall as if it interferes with itself. It's like the photon went through both slits at the same time. But this is where it gets stranger. Simply by looking at the double slit experiment, the behavior of the photons changes, as if the photons are alive and know you are watching them. We know this because if the experimenter tries to determine which slit the photon is going through, the interference pattern doesn't appear. The bottom line is that observing a photon can change events that have already happened. How is that possible? No one has figured it out yet, you may be the one to solve this puzzle. The Black Hole Information Paradox One of the biggest paradoxes in physics is the Black Hole Information Paradox, a puzzle resulting from combining quantum mechanics and general relativity. Calculations show that physical information could permanently disappear into a black hole, allowing physical states to devolve into the same condition. But this is controversial because quantum mechanics states that information can never be destroyed. Let's say you burn two different letters written on paper. Putting them back together from ash would be nearly impossible, but only partially. The slight differences in smoke, temperature, and the amount of ash would still retain information about the two letters. The problem with black holes is they suck things up and then radiate what they have swallowed back out over a very long time in the form of Hawking radiation. Unfortunately, unlike the smoke, temperature, and ash from burning a letter, Hawking radiation contains no information about what the black hole ate. This is because all Hawking radiation is the same, 
which implies that black holes destroy information about the universe. So do evaporating black holes destroy information, or does information escape as the black hole evaporates? A new generation of physicists says that communication does indeed run a black hole by their radiation, and they have identified an invisible surface that lies inside a black hole's event horizon called the quantum extremal surface. This surface appears to encode the amount of information that is radiated away from the black hole, evolving over the black hole's lifetime precisely as expected if information escapes. Something can escape a black hole. It's a problem that still needs to be solved entirely and is a work in progress. When we find out, stay tuned here, and we'll let you know.